go. This is the demonstration for the UBIOX Pro or Pro Lite. Uh, so this device, as you can see, is an IR technology. Its main technology is focusing on using the IR for detection of the face, not uh, mostly visible light. I would say 20, 10 percent is actually visible light, but 90, 80 percent is using IR technology. This is an important thing to know because this is why you cannot use user pictures from your phone or already pictures in the database to register the face because it's using the IR LEDs uh, for capturing the face image um, for the data, for extracting the data at that time. So I wanted to say a few notes here about the Pro Pro Lite. You have the circle here. Uh, this is just a general guideline where your face should be for optimal performance. Uh, there will be places you can go outside the circle. I would say about this half of the screen, you will still get detection, but the optimal detection is inside the circle. So uh, just a quick demonstration. My face is not fully in the circle. So first we're gonna go through the registration process of the face and go into the admin menu, user, add a user, going to get the next available ID, which is two. And then you have all of the user options for the fingerprint, face, password, or card. And we'll start with enrolling the face. And a standard process within 50 centimeters. And as I said before, it's five templates per face. I will start the process. And there's going to be a guidance uh, in the center of the screen where you should tilt your head slightly. Uh, you can do it without it, but for optimal registration, you should follow the guideline of, of the um, outline where to angle your face when taking the picture. Look directly at the screen. So put your nose in the center crosshairs, move up slightly, different angles. That's a little bit too strong of an angle. Put your head down a little bit. That's right. Keep your nose in the crosshairs and it's finished. It's a very simple registration process. Okay, while we're here, we're gonna register the fingerprint. We already registered the face, so I'll choose a fingerprint option. And you can choose any of the indexing of your fingerprint, up to 10 uh, fingers per person. We'll choose the standard index. And as I said before, two fingerprint registrations per person. And if the quality is okay and matching and it doesn't store the image, it will just store the extracted template of those images. And while I'm here, I'm going to do a password. And then also I'm going to register a card. And the important thing now is choosing the authentication type they're all grayed out, so none of them are choice. So you have a choice of using any one of them. Card, fingerprint, face. Now in this case, password will not work because password only works in combination with one other authentication type. So we have an OR function, so any three of these, com any three of these um, authentication types can be used. Everything's okay, got the status screen of what's registered, and save it, okay. Now, I will just demonstrate the face, regist face authentication. As you can see, his face is not fully in the circle, but it's still authenticating. It's quite, still quite fast. And I don't need to bend my knees or stand up. It's mounted at the optimal height for detection. Go ahead. One more time. And then we have card. Register to that person. And then fingerprint as well. As I said before, in cases where face is not always going to be applicable, it might not work for some people, 
um, then you can have the fingerprint option. That's the unique uh, point about our terminals compared to others where we have the fingerprint biometric or facial biometric that the user can choose depending on the situation. Uh, I'm going to back, back into the programming to modify the user number two. And this is what happened when we changed it to the AND function. So it can go up to three combinations of card, and fingerprint and face. As I said before, it's giving you a higher security level uh, in some installations. And if you can actually choose in the software to have during specific times of the day to have this kind of functionality. So example, nine to five, you want easy card access. You can have card only or after that period, it will automatically change to say the combination fingerprint and face. So that's a nice function to have. So now we're at the combination of the card. Okay, now we'll demonstrate uh, using the card first and scan the card. And then it'll prompt, turn on the light for scanning the fingerprint and then the face. You're already in front of the device itself. So you shouldn't have to move. Just put the face already. So he had the face first, card, then fingerprint. So it's a combination of uh, those three uh, types. Um, and uh, that is it for the Pro Pro Lite.